Welcome to Nextstar's guide on how to rip a music CD using Windows Media Player 11. This guide is designed to show you how to create MP3s from music CDs to be played on your MP3 player using Windows Media Player 11. If you have not already upgraded your media player to number 11, then please see Microsoft's website for more information on upgrading your current player. Now the first thing you will need to do is open up Windows Media Player. You can do this by choosing Start and then Windows Media Player. Once your player has opened up, you will need to check your ripping settings before you rip a CD. To do this you will need to right click in the top area of the title bar. This will bring up a menu where you can then choose tools, then choose options. The options menu will bring up a new menu with 12 different tabs. Choose the tab marked rip music. The first half of the tab, the RIP Music to This Location heading, shows what folder Windows Media will put your RIP songs to. They will go in your My Music folder. Make sure that you make a note of where the MP3s will be stored. If you do not want to store them in this directory, then click Change to change where the files will be saved. The second half of the tab, the RIP settings, allows you to choose what format your song files will be in, either MP3 or WMA. Either one is fine, however with the WMA format, you also have to make sure that the Copy Protect Music box is unchecked. For this example, we are going to select the MP3 format from the Format drop-down list. After you have set that, you will want to make sure that the RIP CD when inserted checkbox is unchecked as well. Now adjust the slider under Audio Quality to the setting that you want your music to be. The higher the setting, the better the audio quality. However, this will also make your music files bigger. If you have a 256 megabyte or less player, you may want to set your audio quality to 192 so that you can fit more music on your player. When you are finished choosing your settings, click Apply to save them, then click OK. Now you can insert a music CD to your CD or DVD drive. Once inserted, press the RIP button. Select the tracks you want to RIP by making sure there's a check mark next to the track's name. If you do not wish to RIP a certain song, then remove the check mark. When you are finished selecting your songs, Click the Start RIP button. Windows Media Player will begin ripping your CD. After it is finished ripping the CD, you can then insert another CD and begin the ripping process again by clicking the RIP button. 